have learnt about tenses and we know that tense is about time. Verbs change depending on the time of action or state. So we have to look at a verb to understand its tense. Now you have already learnt about the simple future tense. Today we learn a little bit more about the future tense. This is Ram. He is a good friend of mine and I asked Ram, Ram, tomorrow is Sunday. What will you be doing tomorrow? So Ram replied, I shall be going for a picnic tomorrow. We will be swimming in the sea. Then we will be making sand castles till the sun sets. My father will be buying us ice creams on the way back home. So what will be the actions which will be happening tomorrow? Shall be going will be buying, will be swimming, will be making are all the actions that will be in progress in the future. So all these verbs will be swimming, shall be going, will be buying, will be making which show actions that will be in progress in the future are in the future continuous tense. Now if you notice all these verbs have a particular form. What is the form? Will or shall, you know that we use shall with I or we. So, will or shall with be and then the ing form of the base verb. Let us read some more examples to understand this. So if you see shall, then be and then the ing form of the base verb go. Similarly will, then be and then the ing form of the base verb by. So we have shall be going will be buying. Now you have already learnt about the simple future tense. How is it different from the future continuous tense? Let us read these two sentences. We shall run in the race tomorrow. We shall be running in the race tomorrow. So this statement is just telling us that something will happen tomorrow. What will happen tomorrow? We shall run in the race tomorrow. So this sentence is in the simple future tense. But this sentence, we shall be running in the race tomorrow, tells us that an action will be in progress Sometime tomorrow, so shall be running is showing us an action that will be in progress. So this sentence, we shall be running in the race tomorrow is in the future continuous tense. Now in both the sentences, let us identify the verbs. We shall run in the race tomorrow. What is the verb here? Shall run. And we shall be running in the race tomorrow. What is the verb here? Shall be running. Now both these verbs shall run, shall be running are formed from the same base verb run. So shall run is also formed from run. Shall be running is also formed from the base verb run. But what do we see in both these tenses? The form of the base verb is different. So, in case of simple future tense, 
we use will or shall with the base verb and in case of future continuous tense we use will or shall then we use a be and then we use the ing form of the base verb so how will you understand whether a sentence is in the simple future tense or in the future continuous tense so all you have to do is to look at the formation of the verb to understand now let us read some more examples of the future continuous tense my brother will be sleeping at 7 o'clock what is the base verb here sleep and how have we formed our verb in the future continuous tense will then be and then the ing form of the base verb sleep i shall be swimming in the afternoon tomorrow this sentence is also showing us an action which will be in progress in the future so i shall be swimming in the afternoon tomorrow is in the future continuous tense here what is the verb shall be swimming what is the base verb swim and how have we formed the verb here in the future continuous tense shall then be and then the ing form of the base verb swim the prime minister will be attending the sports meet next week what is the base verb here attend so the prime minister will be attending will be attending is the form of the verb which is telling us that this sentence is in the future continuous tense the lawyer will be meeting us next month again will be meeting is formed from the base verb meet and it is telling us that the sentence is in the future continuous tense they will be working until late evening in this sentence the verb form will be working is showing us that an action will be in progress in the future so will be working until late evening is telling us that they will keep on working till it is late evening will be working is formed from the base verb work now that you have learned how and when to use the future continuous tense can you choose the sentence which is in future continuous tense let us read the two sentences we will fly kites on sunday afternoon we will be flying kites on sunday afternoon so what is the verb form in the future continuous tense it is will or shall with be and then the ing form of the verb so which sentence has this verb form will be flying so we will be flying kites on sunday afternoon is the sentence in the future continuous tense now let us try to do this exercise fill in the blank with future continuous tense i dash in the mountains this winter what are the options given to us ski will ski will be skiing let us take each option one by one and see if it fits correctly in the sentence can we say i skiing in the mountains this winter no this does not make any sense so this is not the correct option can i say i will ski in the mountains this winter now will ski does show an action in the future but it does not show an action in progress in the future we know 
that the verb form in the future continuous tense is will then be and then the ing form of the verb the base verb here is ski so our correct option is will be ski hence our sentence will read as i will be skiing in the mountains this winter so what have we learned today we have learned that future continuous tense shows us that an action or an event will be in progress it will be continuous at a time in the future you have now learned about the simple tenses and the three types of continuous tenses which are present past and future and you will soon learn about more don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so learning at delta step is not just fun and easy it is also rewarding so register for free now